Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Now, improving NBA officiating has gone high tech. Today, the NBA uses the proprietary game review system, which is broken down from double-digit camera angles. Analysts spend a day or two dissecting each game. And Kevin, that data is used for evaluating, training, and communication with the teams. Isn't that something? I mean, every day there's something new. Fascinating, fascinating stuff, DA. Thank you. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Holiday and Allen have guard duties, and it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Nuggets, Gordon steps in at the four with Jokic in at center. Out on the perimeter, it's Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr., and it's Murray in at the one spot. And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. And here's Holiday. Giannis with it. Now guarded by Murray. Down it goes. Nice one there from Antetokounmpo. And the ball handling of Antetokounmpo. My goodness. Really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. Now here's Caldwell Pope. Pass to Porter. Three-pointer. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Greg, and back to the Bucks. The question is, how much longer do you think is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. And that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Murray. Porter, no luck. Giannis against Murray. Here's Antetokounmpo. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Boy, for such a young player, the razor-sharp focus of Antetokounmpo, really impressive. I mean, a muscular guy who still makes baskets despite getting hit in the process. He's not wide, but he is muscular. the free throw no good and Giannis's journey GA so incredibly compelling a full-length movie made about his and his brother's path to the NBA well you hear that saying my life is like a movie never truer than for Giannis it's been an odyssey for the Greek freak now Allen following the three-point attempt by Jamal Murray passes it to Holiday the three-pointer no good I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. The Bucs have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And Middleton kicks to Giannis. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And the Bucs miss again. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Holiday against Murray. Jokic passes to Porter. Down to five on the shot clock. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Tell you what, with Jokic, you've got to foul him harder than that. This big fella takes pride in finishing through the defense. The Nuggets shooting their first free throw of the game.
Hey, Clark, one stat where Jokic is consistently dominant, of course, is rebound. Well, he does everything well, but you're right. Season after season, game after game, Kevin, he is eating that glass. He stays near the top of that particular statistic. And he knows games are won and lost on the boards, and he wants to be able to contribute in that way. But he is a brilliant, brilliant player, not just a rebound. It's good from long range. Middleton really is an amazing shooter, absolutely amazing, especially from long distance. Here's Murray, and it's off the back rim, no good. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. Three-point lead. Middleton against Porter. And Middleton kicks to Allen. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. Nuggets have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Over to the wing. Here's Jokic, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. And that 82% free throw percentage this season must have him feeling pretty good about himself at the line. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity stripe when he gets his opportunities. And that one misses. You know, this Denver team used to run a lot, but over the last few seasons, they've significantly slowed down their pace. The Nuggets trail by four. Murray outside. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. The fader. And too long on the shot. And the Nuggets start playing slower. More half-court basketball. Why? Well, I think it suits the game of multi-time MVP Nikola Jokic. I mean, the Joker is a maestro in the post and on the perimeter as a passer and score so he dissects opposing defenses from anywhere on the court and the staff has adjusted how they play to fit joker's skill set that's a smart move and their post play has been really solid right off the bat here's young and they call the foul so a chance at the line for one more coming up from role player to mvp Giannis is improving his upper body strength has really been a factor in his overall development. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me, not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high percentage looks. throw no good for Giannis and Greg even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside his career three-point percentage stuck below 30 percent and still an elite scorer because of his proficiency at the rim but it's been said before if he adds the triple he'll be truly unguardable now here's Ingles outside out of the Kumbo And the jam by Antetokounmpo. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdowns. 106 left to play here in the first. Now Smith. Down low. Here's Najee. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there. And he knocks down the first one. Crowder, he's checked in for the Bucks.
that one misses. Milwaukee leading by seven. Carter finds Ingles. Outside Crowder jacks up a three. A shot missing. And it's Denver the other way. Green passes to Smith. There's 31 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Shoots from the line and misses it off the right side of the rim. Wide, wide open and still surprisingly wasn't able to cash in. Ingles against Green. Here's Ingles. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Portis. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Bucs. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Bucks, guys. Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. And you talk to the great ball handlers, and they say, Greg, that footwork is an underappreciated aspect of it. Why is that? It's like a dance. You're eluding the defender mostly with your feet. The, the ball handling part is just making sure the ball comes along for the ride. The forward spots will be Porter Jr. and Gordon. Murray out there with Bruce Brown. And it's Jokic in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Here's Crowder following the basket by Jokic. Outside Holiday, the shot goes in first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Well, that assertive, confident attitude. I mean, Holiday knew as the pass was coming his way that he was going to catch it and let it go quickly. Outside Porter. Jokic sets the screen for Porter. Lopez with the steal. Now the Bucks moving it up. Rocket just got the ball. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's just so tough to stay with Dragic in those herky-jerky moves without fouling. For Milwaukee, they have missed both free throws they've attempted tonight. And in terms of team numbers, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. That's something they've been working very hard to correct in the change. I mean, they know how important it is to fix that inability at the free throw line. First one falls for him. And the Nuggets making a change here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. The Bucs also with the sub. Antetokounmpo's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucs can really play inside out. No doubt. And, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but Giannis in particular is a terrific passer. And if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. You got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes I'm going to execute the game plan, and sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agreed. Thanks, David. Here's Antetokounmpo following the basket by Jokic. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. Boy, he is so dangerous from this area, guys. Even when Giannis is defended tightly, he powers through it. Outside, Porter fires the three. Giannis grabs the miss. Andre DeCumbo has got six rebounds in the game. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. Back to Holiday. Takes a three. And it's Jokic with the rebound. 
And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. Down by 12. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Yes, sir. Jokic fired up, and so is his team. They love to see the big guy scoring like this. Lopez, a screen on Murray. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The Bucks working the ball around. From 13, and it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. And you know, when this shot is available, Giannis takes it, and I like how simple he keeps things in doing so. Adetokounmpo against Caldwell Pope. Good D by Holiday. Bucks leading by 12. Rogic with a screen for Giannis. A shot, no good. Now Denver takes it the other way. Here's Murray up on top, guarded by Holiday. Jokic with a screen on Holiday. Murray finds Jokic. Murray outside. Jokic against Lopez. Fades. Milwaukee with the rebound. Holiday surveying the floor. Can't hit that one. The Nuggets trail by 12. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Jokic, good, and a nice assist from Porter. Jokic has got 15 points. Boy, good vision that time from Michael Porter Jr. Saw the wide-open teammate and then got the pass to him right on time. And the Bucks decide to take their first time out here. Big group substitution here for Denver. Ryan is checked in for Jokic. Green comes in for Aaron Gordon. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for Michael Porter. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Murray. There's a minute 34 left to play here in the second quarter. Ryan against Portis. Shot clock at six. Crowder from outside. They get the rebound. No good on the shot. The Nuggets trail by 10. Here's Jackson. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. The Nuggets have made two and missed two at the line tonight. He can't get the first one. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Good 
good on the second free throw. Milwaukee leading by nine. Crowder a screen on green. Ingles passes to Portis. The rebound by Bryant. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Denver. And there's the drive. And he uses the glass on the way. Green's got his first points of the game. And you really can't forget about Green's speed. So effective on the drive. Carter kicks to Connaughton. Pass to Crowder. From deep. And the Bucks miss again. For Denver, they've gone 5 of 8 from the floor here in the second quarter. Over 60% shooting. Green finds Jackson. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Now just a five-point Bucks lead. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes can find the creases with that handle. And the pass to Portis. And just miss after miss right now. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Bucks lead by five. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Mike. Stout effort defensively in the first half. What did you do to limit them? I just think our activity on the ball, we got to try and keep it in front of us. Our bigs did a good job, I think, being big in the paint, making things tough there. We got to finish it with the board. Yep, rebounds and possessions, Coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Jokic in this game, he has been everywhere. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. On the court for the Bucks, A talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at four. Holiday and Allen have guard duties, and it's Lopez in at the center filling out the middle. Bucks leading by five. And Zoe onto DeCumbo looking over it. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got six rebounds in the game. Porter passes to Gordon. And that one drops. Gordon's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Nuggets. Greg, looking at the shooting numbers of Michael Porter Jr., they're off the charts. Be his first full year in the league, Porter Jr. was top 20 in field goal percentage, top 10 in three-point percentage. Incredible numbers for a 6-10 wing. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. <laughs> Did he lay an egg at the stripe in their previous game? Couldn't get anything to drop. Was completely out of sync on his free throws, and I'm sure that led him to some extra work at the foul line. Guys, I think free throw shooting is all about rhythm and confidence, and he hasn't been able to establish any rhythm there this season. That free throw missing. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with an attitude of joy and unselfishness, a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him. He's one of the most popular players in the world. And he's good on the second. 
The Nuggets trail by four. Now here's Murray. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Jokic finds Porter. Five to shoot. Pass to Jokic over Lopez. Jokic, no good. Bucks leading by four. Giannis left side. Misses off the left eye. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. In the second half, they've only given up one basket coming from the free throw line. Now here's Porter. Passes it to Gordon. High post try. Porter, no luck. The Bucks shooting 43% from the field. On to Dekumbo against Porter. The shot. And Giannis gets it to go. Giannis has got 17 now. Giannis continues to expand his offensive arsenal. And with that, his confidence and ability can actually take over more. Now, here's Jokic. 15 points in the game. And another miss by Denver. Holiday left side. Here's Lopez. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. Wesley Matthews checked in for Andrzej Denver with the ball. Six-point game. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. Jokic against Lopez. Jokic with a screen on Holland. Murray, no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Now here's Middleton. He has five. And he banks in the layup. And now it's an eight-point Milwaukee lead. Hard to disrupt or shake Middleton when he's in the zone. I mean, doesn't matter who's guarding. He's still going to get his shot up and down. Here's Murray. He's still scoreless so far in this one. He'll get your screen. Murray with it. He's picked up by Lopez. Murray, no good. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Outside Holiday. Lopez, a screen on Murray. Holiday gets the bucket. Holiday's got his second bucket of the game to go. There you see the creativity. Holiday is so good at reading pick and rolls and breaking defenses down. It's hard to corral him when he's got the ball in those situations. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. And a whole new lineup here for the Nuggets. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Jay Crowder comes in for Chris Middleton. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Carter in for Drew Holiday.
Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Carter against Smith. Green with a screen on Carter. The drive by Smith. Matthews with the steal. Carter looking around. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The Bucs shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. free throw no good he hits the second from the line the Nuggets trail by 11 Brown outside. Pass to Bryant. Trying to end the drought. That one no good. Great D that time from Portis. Crowder kicks to Connaughton. Carter with it. Outside Crowder. Lock at six. And it's sent back by Bryant. Smith against Crowder. Smith, no good. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. There's a minute left in the third quarter. Carter, right side. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. They trail by 11. And there's the pass to Naji. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Pass to Portis. There's the dish to Crowder. The Bucks working the ball around. Tries from the block, and the shot is good. Portis has got the lead up to 13 now for Milwaukee. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Milwaukee on top. Scoring 10 unanswered to finish off the quarter. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read? He made here looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Bucks leading by 13. Out on the perimeter, it's Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. Gordon steps in at the four with Jokic in its center. And it's Brown in at the point guard. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. You know, no opponent is willing to give Antetokounmpo an easy look. I mean, they want to make it hard on him, and he's going to get bodied up, and he's learned to accept that.
that's good from out of the Kumbo. Free throws good from out of the Kumbo. The Nuggets trail by 15. Jokic with the screen on Holiday. It's good. Oh, such a field shot there. The floater. And here is under the Kumbo. And they double up Giannis. Here's Allen. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And the Bucks lead by 15. Improving as a playmaker, Giannis knows this is the next step in him becoming an even greater player. Knocks it loose, taken away by Holiday. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Adetokounmpo against Gordon. Giannis passes to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Over Brown. Here's onto Takumbo. Nobody near Allen. And a great assist by Onto Takumbo as that one goes in. Onto Takumbo's got three assists now in this one. Holiday against Brown. Passes it to Jokic. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's on Brook Lopez. Well, I love how crafty Jokic is. You know, he basically baits defenders into committing the foul once he gets deep position. All right, well, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bucks. The way they've been able to consistently get past the defense and to the cup has been most impressive. They've almost made it look pedestrian. They took what the defense gave them tonight, and that was the mid-range. I mean, very consistent from that part of the floor. You know, what makes Jokic truly exceptional in my mind is the breadth and depth of his versatility. You know, he's a really good passer, maybe the greatest passing big guy we've seen in a long time. And that, to me, is a tremendous distinction, not to mention how he scores and does the other stuff he does out there. Here's Giannis. Porter with a block. You know, one area where I think Porter Jr. has surprised a bunch of folks is his shot blocking. I mean... He's got a natural knack for doing it. Pass to Jokic. Over Holiday. Ante Kumbo grabs the miss. Ante Dekumbo's got rebound number 13 with that last one. Over Murray. Middleton for three. Here's Lopez. And it's blocked by Gordon. At the defensive end, Gordon is very accomplished. I mean, he gets off the ground quickly and is an excellent shot blocker as a result. Bucks leading by 16. Hansa Takumbo dishes to Holiday. Loads it up for Giannis. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley hoop. Jokic kicks to Caldwell Pope. Jokic against Lopez. Jokic passes to Murray. Allen with the rebound. And so Allen will bring it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Murray against Holiday. To the middle. Here's Allen. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And the Bucks lead by 18. Terrific find that time by Holiday. You get open. Drew will get it to you. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. No good on the triple. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Giannis outside. And the turnover again by Milwaukee. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis is checked in. Giannis. 
Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. You look at Anadokounmpo really making a difference here. Yeah, he's just torching them right now. A good decision to huddle up, kind of hit the reset button and figure out how to slow his roll. Here's Murray. Gordon with a screen on Holiday. Murray surveying the D. Looking to get back on track here. Second chance shot. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Now, Antetokounmpo. Portis a screen on Porter. Here's Antetokounmpo. It's hauled in by Michael Porter. The Nuggets trail by 18. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Brown is checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. One thirty-nine left in the fourth quarter. Holiday against Murray. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. Takes the 13 footer, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Hey, this was exactly the kind of game coach wanted to see from them. High effort, great play at both ends, gets the win for Milwaukee. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the way he rebounded, he surely was a spark for the team as he was securing everything that came off the iron. Here's Jokic. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. It's good. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. Here's Murray. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. 
Thanks very much, Giannis. Great individual performance. I guess you're going for another MVP, huh? Hey, you know, I try not to think about it that much. Uh, my mind says do my job, do whatever it takes to help my team win, and uh, all I get about is I've got to win. Love the humble brag, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance Player of the Game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.